Jeremy Kohler, St. Louis Post-Dispatch reporter, has been following this Northwest Plaza story. He joins us here in studio. Jeremy Kohler from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Uh, Northwest Plaza was the topic of the cover story yesterday. What did you uncover? Well, McGraw, uh, you know, for any kind of normal state expenditure like a a highway or a school, any kind of government uh, expenditure or service that they would buy, um, there would be a, a process where they would they would have a consultant design a project, uh, and then they would put that out for a public bid, and they would ask for qualified bidders to come in, and and give them the best value on on the job. Sure. Okay. And so that as I mean, I'm not saying that's not gamed too, but as a that's supposed to safeguard our tax dollars. Okay. Right. Um, now Missouri also has a program uh, for redeveloping brownfields, which are underused, you know, sites that are polluted with hazardous waste. Right. That has to have to be cleaned up. Uh, Missouri uh, pays offers to pay for these cleanups with uh, tax credits, which are not state expenditures of cash, uh, but they will uh, write a tax credit letter to the company that's that's basically doing the doing the work. In other words, so this is an IOU. This will this is future taxes you don't have to pay. Exactly. Right. And so and so this isn't money they're spending. This is money that they're restricting from coming in later on. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, because it's not a direct outlay of cash, it's not subject to state procurement laws. Got it. Um, and so what's happened in Missouri is that uh, companies that want to develop a brownfield want to repurpose it and bring it back into economic use. Uh, are turning to one company in St. Louis to to basically uh, to negotiate with the state for this tax credit and to develop to design a cleanup. Uh, and so Environmental Operations Incorporated is the firm in St. Louis. Got it. And uh, in project after project, what we've seen and and what I've written about in the last year is this company will actually design the project. And then uh, hold sort of a closed bidding process. There is still a requirement that three bids are procured, uh, but they will manage the bidding process. They will, so they will provide their scope of work to bidders, and then collect the bids, and then underbid the bid the bids that they collect. So you're saying they're the consultant on the project, and then they also bid on the project that they're consulting on. Correct. Okay. And. And that's a setup that you would never see. You would, I don't want to say never, but you would almost never see in any kind of public or private setup. You know, it's illegal in, in EPA brownfield projects, for example. Okay. So Northwest Plaza is almost virtually demolished as of now, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, their bid to contractors to demolish uh, Northwest Plaza was that uh, there was a whole lot of asbestos to be cleared. Right, right. So what happened there? So they go in as the consultant and they take measurements. How much asbestos, how much hazardous waste is in this place that needs to be cleaned up? And so their inspector goes in and comes up with a figure of over 1.1 million square feet. And in a 1.8 million square foot mall, that's pretty total coverage. Right, okay. (laughs) Okay. So they, they came in as a consultant and said, this thing is laced with asbestos. We need you need special people to come in to help demolish this this right. building. Imagine twenty football fields, completely covered with asbestos covered uh, containing materials. That's how much waste we're talking. So about. the bid goes out. Hey, who can fix? Who can clean up all of this asbestos? Correct. Okay. And so uh, they invite three companies to walk through the mall, and they provide them with a worksheet. Uh, Here's how much is in Macy's. Here's how much is in Sears. Here's how much is in the office tower, and so on. And gives these companies uh, a couple of days to a week to, to get back with their bids. And the bids are broken down by building. Here's how much is in this building. Here's how much is in that building. Or here, here's how much uh, we would do this for, in other words. Right. Okay, and ultimately what happened is uh, environmental operations uh, – took the two highest bids and dropped the lowest bid and installed their own bid as the, the lowest bid, even though it was about $300,000 more. <laughs> okay. But he also found out that there's nowhere near as much asbestos as, there, as they or- originally claimed. Uh, correct. Uh, so after they have the tax credit authorized at the amount of hazardous waste that they said was in there, uh, the money, the tax credit is secure and they start... Uh, filing 
for permits, you have to actually be permitted in St. Louis County to remove asbestos. Right. It's heavily regulated. Uh, they file permits to, to remove the asbestos, and it's less than half of what had been in the initial bids. Jeremy Kohler with us, St. Louis Post-Dispatch uh, reporter, broke this story yesterday on the front page of the newspaper. You're saying to me that this environmental operations uh, was the consultant. They said that there was almost 20 football fields worth of asbestos, secured tax credits to help clean up 20 football fields worth of asbestos, won the bid to clean up the 20 football fields of asbestos, only to find out that the asbestos was half of what they originally said. Right, exactly. Let's get to this bidding process. You said that they bid on it and they won the bid, and yet their bid wasn't the lowest? No, what happened is they they kicked out the lowest bid. Actually, it wasn't on the public record at all. I discovered it by, by accident. Um, I There was a third company that had bid on a, a much smaller part of the project. Uh, called Senpro. And I reached out to Senpro just doing my due diligence uh, on the story and was talking to them about this part of the project. And they said that they had heard a rumor that they were the low bidder on the asbestos. And I said, well, I don't see you even see you bidding on the asbestos. So we got together and they showed me their bid. They were the lowest bid on the asbestos. And I showed them the records that I had obtained through Sunshine re- uh, Request, mm-hmm. which showed that their bid wasn't even in there. And so we had this you know, this double revelation at their office. Um, I asked environmental operations, hey, why did you kick out SenPro's bid? And the response was, well, their bonding capacity was not quite uh, what it needed to be for uh, for the project. In other words, the amount that a a bonding bonding company would put up to insure the project. Sure, right. uh, Which was their their bonding capacity was 3 million and their bid was 3.4 million. Uh, but if you look at the bids, one of the the high bid, in fact, that uh, envir- environmental operations did accept was 1.5 million. So their bonding capacity was actually half of <laughs> the one that they accepted. You allude to, or may, may, well, that's that's why we brought you in here. You allude to the fact that this environmental operations um, almost asks companies that aren't big enough to handle the project to bid. Talk about that for a moment. Right. Well. Uh, this was, you know, 1.1 million square feet of asbestos is a is a big job, um, and and so two of the companies told me that they were bidding on this, uh, anticipating that environmental operations was going to do the job, but they were hoping to get uh, hired as a subcontractor for some part of it. You know, it was broken down by building, and so maybe environmental operations will say, okay, why don't you handle Sears or why don't you handle Macy's? And that's still a big job. I mean, that even one of those buildings at those quantities would have been a, a good year of sales. Right. Uh, what happens, well, first of all, Stacy Hasty runs environmental operations. He owns it. He owns it. You talked to him, didn't you? Or tried to talk to him. We corresponded by by email okay. on this story. We we have had uh, several interviews in the past, and, but, but not, uh, I don't think that we actually spoke for this story. Gotcha. Um, and, and so my next question is, have is the government is anybody from any taxing agency tax credit agency going to say hey wait a minute you've you said it was going to be x amount of asbestos we gave you tax credits for x amount of asbestos but there's there's half of that are they going to claw back some of those tax credits that remains to be seen i, I you know i i don't know they've they actually haven't even paid the tax credit out yet they 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 said that they uh they will only pay what work is done. And I said, well, you ha- the consultant on the, on the project is environmental operations. They're the one that's going to tell you what work was done. Right. And, and they tell me, um, Stacey Hasty said in an email, uh, the scope of work is not smaller than, than what we said it was. So um, let me amend something I said before, too. I sure. did, of course, offer to, um, to talk with Stacey Hasty and, and members of environmental operations, and they did not respond. Gotcha. So he's he said to you in an email, look, the asbestos that's out there is still as, as much as we said it was originally. Yeah, he said the scope is not smaller. Is not smaller. But yep. yet you've talked to independent other people who've said the scope is absolutely smaller. Right. It's it's half. Half. It's less than half. It's less than, than half. So where does it stand now? So uh, um, environmental operations got the bid. They're demolishing Northwest Plaza, and everything's moving along swimmingly. 
Exactly. Right. We'll, we'll see what the state does in terms of actually paying the tax credit. Since the story came out yes, yesterday, have there's been any response that you've heard of? Anyone contact you? Anybody talk to you? Any more to follow up on the story? Not officially, not from not from the state or from from environmental operations. Jeremy Kohler, uh, he uh, got the wood yesterday. Front page of the St. Louis Post Dispatch, uncovering an unbelievable story about the de- the demolition contracts for Northwest Plaza. It now sits. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's destroyed. It's in the process of of, of being demolished. What's going to go there when it's all said and done? Well, they said they had a, a mixed-use plan. I know that they uh, have been talking to Menards about uh, building a, a, a store on a, on a pad at that, uh, at gotcha. that mall. But, but, but nothing's official yet? No. Oh, huh, interesting. No. All right. Jeremy Kohler, thanks for coming in. Thanks, McGraw. You got it.